Hi, I'm Leslie Mallon, and I am the founder of the Work Life Principle, as well as the author of the book, Cracked Open, Reflections on the Transformative Power of Failure, Fear, and Doubt. So I thought today that I might kind of pick at random um, a piece of this book to read to you and give you a sense of what this book actually is. It's a book that one could read from cover to cover, but actually it's um, a grouping, a compodium of quotations that have meaning to me on these topics, and then a reflection page um, about how I reacted to the very, to whatever the quotation was. So it kind of looks like this. The quotations are on colored pages and the reflections are on the white pages. Um, it comes in Kindle as well as it's available uh, soft cover on any of uh, your online retailers. And it's a book that people are using to encourage themselves, to motivate, to kind of confront their own fears of failure and to see it in a new perspective and to see themselves in a new perspective and to understand that failure, fear, and doubt are not ends, but they can often be portals to new beginnings and to seeing yourself in a new way. So I thought maybe I would read one quotation and one reflection and give you a sense of what some of these may sound like or read like when, when you get the book, which I hope you do. Uh, this is a quote from Alice Walker. It's a piece of a quote from Alice Walker. And it starts, sometimes life seizes up, nothing stirs, nothing flows. We think all this time, Climbing this rough tree, the rope attached to a rotten branch, we think, why did I choose this path? Anyway, nothing at the end but sheer cliff and rock-filled seas. My reflection on this as I read it is this. Do you know this place where nothing you do makes a ripple in time? When you know you'd be more productive reading a thriller or watching the Food Network, because nothing is happening. Nothing can happen. We strive to make progress against the storm's headwinds, knowing that all effort is misspent and truly laughable. Flash frozen held fast beneath the weight of a deep soul freeze. I know this place. I have been its captive. I have escaped for now. Somehow the ground thaws, spring arrives. We are not over when we think we are. Many of, of clients, readers, um, people from all over when I give public speaking, talk about how, this, how failure for them represents an end. It feels devastating and they are angry with themselves and disappointed with themselves and feel they can't go forward. And that is absolutely the opposite of the truth. We don't, we don't proceed unless we have failure. And if we're not failing on some level, then we're not trying hard enough and we're not working on our working edge. So I really encourage you to push your boundaries and if you feel you fail, learn from that failure and keep on going. I'm Leslie Mallon. If you would like more information, please get in touch with me at leslie at worklifeprinciple.com. I really look forward to speaking with you. Thanks so much for listening.